Safe by Accident, Taking the Luck Out of Safety. In this video, author Dr. Judy Agnew talks about why it's important for management to listen, really listen, to employees and their feedback about working conditions. You've got to be listening for uh, at-risk conditions and you've got to be willing to follow through or, or have a process. I mean, you know, that's the ideal is you have a, a firm process where people uh, have a clear, easy way to report conditions. Uh, there's visible ways for people to see whether those things are being taken care of or not. There's lots of feedback about why something's not being fixed and how long it's going to be until it does get fixed. Um, that provides hourly employees with the sense that something's being done. And according to Judy Agnew, it's the rank and file who are most apt to sound off about conditions that are potentially unsafe. One of the problems with hazardous conditions is there is a, a perception often on the, the part of hourly workers that management doesn't fix anything around here. And that comes often because when things do get fixed, there's not great communication about that it's been fixed. And unfortunately, when something was not working properly or a hazard in some way and it gets fixed, it's hard to notice that it's been fixed, but it's very easy to notice all the things that haven't been fixed. They're still there irritating you day after day. And so this perception builds that nothing gets fixed. A lot of times companies think they're communicating those things. They put something on an, an intranet. Um, maybe they put something on the wall somewhere. Uh, you know, our preference is a, a graphic representation of what's been done or, or even a spreadsheet that shows what, what they've been doing with and leaving on there what has been done. A lot of companies will say, here's what we're still working on, but they don't list all the things that they actually have done. Again, leaving the perception that there's all these things that need to be fixed and nothing's getting fixed. So sometimes it's saying, leave the stuff that you have fixed up there so people can see that, in fact, you have been doing some things. So taking care of physical conditions is important to create a safe workplace. And that alone is a good reason to do a better job of it. But there's a second reason it's important, and that has to do with the engagement of the hourly workers. There's a reciprocity here that has to take place. Hourly workers are willing to step up and do more around safety if they feel like management has stepped up and done more. If they feel like management hasn't taken care of physical conditions, ignores them when they report hazards, then they're not going to be willing to step up and do more. So by doing a better job of taking care of those physical conditions, we find employees are willing to do more. They're willing to talk more. They're willing to observe each other, give each other feedback. They're willing to be more active participants in safety. Safe by accident, taking the luck out of safety. For more from Dr. Judy Agnew and Aubrey Daniels, and to purchase the book Safe by Accident, visit the website safebyaccident.com.